Hey, you remember her? Yeah, I remember cutting her off. <laughs> she was hammered. Did you see her with anyone? More like everyone. She was downing shots as fast as guys ordered them. Well, we'll need the bar receipts from the other night and any surveillance footage. Receipts? Oh, well, cash only. And we don't have a security camera. What can you tell us about your kitchen staff, the cooks? Jesus and Ozzy? Well, Ozzy's new, but they're both great. Jesus, Ozzy, police have questions. Amigo, what am I going to tell you? Got a runner. Got the front. Stay right here with me. dancing, one thing led to another. No, we didn't rape her. She came back in here putting her chichis up in my face. I figured she was trying to make her buddies hot. Her buddies? They were watching? Some Navy dudes or something. Buzz cuts, buying shots, dancing it up. OK, did you see who she left with? No, the kitchen closes early. She was still at the bar when we left. All right, that's the story. We didn't do this. Could any of these men be the ones that you danced with in the kitchen. Maybe him. Him. And him. OK. Good. Could they have attacked you? Look, I'm not sure it was them, OK? It was dark. The way they pinned me down, I couldn't really see their faces. <sighs> Look, maybe we should just let this go. I don't remember. There's no point. But I mean, you do remember that they pinned you down. I. I I don't want to wrongly accuse somebody. I understand. Because the cook said that you were still in that bar when they left. Yeah. OK, so what? So were the guys from the base with you? And they didn't log back in until 1 AM. OK, well, maybe they went someplace else. Or maybe they got you drunk and figured they could do whatever they wanted to do. No, I let myself get drunk, OK? We were dancing and, OK, so maybe we made out a little bit. Made out? What, what does that mean? We were just dancing closely. And? Lipid started kissing me, and Wooten put his hand up my skirt. And then what happened, Amelia? I can't say! Did they rape you? I'm going to get dishonorably discharged. I'm going to let my family down, my father. I should have let them do what they did to me, and I should have just shut up about it. <laughs> so Amelia says she was raped by Lippitt, Wooten, and Graver. How did it happen? They got her drunk, brought her under the FDR, jumped her and took turns. And left her lying there. Well, she initially mentioned the two cooks. Do we believe her now? Look, the Coast Guard has a pattern of giving rape victims personality disorder discharges. She was afraid to disclose. Under the FDR, so there's no surveillance footage. What about the DNA? There's no hits in CODIS, but these guys wouldn't be in CODIS. Well, what, swab them, bring them in? Hold off. Let's take another run before they know they're suspects. Detectives, I'm sorry for your wasted trip, but Lippitt, Wooten, and Graver are off base. Where are they? Well, I thought you had suspects in custody. Well, we were hoping they could help with the ID. Can you get them back? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. They just left for a six-week training mission on a cutter off the coast of Somalia. I called your office, asked you to hold these men. Well, I wish I'd have gotten that message earlier, but I didn't. Now, if you'll excuse me, Where's Amelia now? Uh, she's in the hospital, still bleeding, kidney infection. Any evidence other than the victim's word? Well, the bartender remembers these guys buying Amelia shots. So the cook says she was dancing with them when the guys left, but no one saw them leave the bar together. DNA? Well, we have samples, but the Coast Guard's not providing the suspect's DNA. They're claiming national security. <laughs> we'll hit them with a blood order when you bring them in for an interrogation. That's not going to be easy, since they were just shipped off to Somalia. 
Well, that I can fix. Grand jury subpoena brings them back for questioning. I've done this before. They'll comply, but only under court order. Every step's gonna be a fight. Well, Amelia's already gone through hers. Let's have her back. I know it was a long trip. Thanks for coming in to talk with us. Yeah, wasn't my first choice. Is that why you went to Somalia? I went to get my NCVP certification. Came back as soon as you asked. Non-compliant vessel pursuit. Okay. You know, last time we talked, you told me you left Amelia by herself in the bar. Now, that was a lie, wasn't it, Matthew? She gets drunk and disorderly, misses curfew. Now she's putting it on us. Look, man, I understand our jobs are similar. You know, lots of stress. Maybe that night in the bar, you just let loose. No disrespect, but she's the one who let loose. I hear you. Look, you know what I did wrong? I cheated on my wife. So you did have sex? Yeah, that's what it was. You wear a condom? Yeah, I told you I'm married. That's one, Dale. All right, you know what? I'm done talking. <clears throat> no problem. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. What's this? It's court order for your DNA. <laughs> whoa, 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 look. I'm not saying nothing happened that night, but it wasn't rape. My soul was sex. Yeah. What's the matter, detective? You never get nasty? She threw herself at us. She, she wouldn't take no for an answer. Right, you just gave her what she wanted. That's two down. I think I want a lawyer. OK. But if you had nothing to do with this, you call a lawyer, I'm never going to get to hear your side of the story. I didn't rape her. I didn't even have sex with her. You watched? Are we going to find your DNA under her fingernails? OK. I held her hands behind her while she did them. She wanted that. He held her hands. He's still guilty. Or he's lying. Look, there were two DNA hits. If Lippitt were a condom and Wooten didn't, the second sample has to be Graver's. So what? They're not turning each other in. I mean, it's still she said, they said. You want to just let them go? I don't trust this with a jury, do you? It's not our problem. For now, arrest them. I'll call Barbara, let them know what we have them walking into. 